Hello, everyone, and welcome to Pawfology. I hope you're all having a good Thursday. Hope you had a good day, a good night. I know it's pretty late right now. It's about 10 or so. And um, today was a pretty good day because I made chicken gnocchi soup. It was very good. I have not made that in a pretty good, in a very long time. And um, I didn't record me making the soup like this is how I do it and all that. I just didn't have time tonight. It was very busy, but I recorded like certain parts of it. So, and I'll tell you what's in it and I'll probably leave a description down below of my recipe that I used. Um, but it was basically, uh, you start out by cooking the chicken. I recommend chicken thighs uh, if you're gonna use raw chicken or rotisserie chicken is always nice. And then, um, I take the chicken out of the pan. If you don't have, if you're, you know, using rotisserie chicken, you won't have any of the chicken fat on the bottom of the pan. But then I put in um, the onions, celery, and carrots in the pan. And I did, oh, this is kind of like a cardinal sin, but I used frozen vegetables. So I used frozen onion, celery, and carrots. I just used a soup mix from Kroger. I didn't want to cut everything up. So, yeah, I know. But I use that, I cook it down to let it reduce. And then I put a, like about a little less than one fourth a cup of flour to make a roux or a roux, whatever it's called. And I mix that together, cook off the flour. Then I put a little bit of half, a, half and half, about a half a cup. Some people call for a cup. Some people say put two cups of half and half for milk or whatever you want to use. But I don't like my uh, chicken gnocchi soup to be too creamy or like thick and gravy-like because I find chicken gnocchi soup can be very much like gravy and I don't like that. I want it to be soup still. Then after the uh, cream, I put the chicken stock in slowly, like mixing it together to make sure it, you know, kind of makes chicken gnocchi soup. It kind of, it's thicker a little bit, pouring it in slowly. And then I put my kale, my thyme, my parsley, and I do put kale in it instead of spinach because that's what I had tonight. But it's probably recommended that you use spinach and my chicken in there. So I make all, I mix all my ingredients up, let it boil. Then I put my gnocchi in for about three to four minutes. And you know, the gnocchi's done once it floats. And uh, that's my gnocchi soup. I think I, I think I got everything. I mean, you can salt it to your desire. I got some Murray's Parmesan cheese from Kroger. Uh, Murray's is like the famous grilled cheese, New York city place. If you know what that is, it's just a cheese place. It's probably, they sell it at probably most Kroger's. It's, it was really good Parmesan cheese. I liked it a lot. It was very salty, um, which might be why I liked it or why it tasted. It just had a lot of flavor. But looking back on it, that might have just been the salt. And it was, it was pretty creamy for Parmesan. So anyways, Murray's, I used Murray's Parmesan just to put some on top of my soup. It was awesome. It was so good. I, I'm really glad that I made it. It's, it's a savory. Oh, there's garlic in the soup as well. So you put garlic in it as well. Okay. I'm not a recipe channel. Sorry. This is probably like a hot mess of me trying to describe how I made chicken gnocchi soup, but it was great. Um, tomorrow, I really wish I made it tomorrow because it's going to be raining all day. It's raining right now. Actually, it's like a lot. It's like a, I think it's a storm or something. I don't know. So, um, but yeah, that's what I did tonight. Mainly just ma focusing on making food, making soup, man. So good. Um, for lunch today, I had chili as well. I'm just feeling I'm just feeling soups right now in the middle of July. Is chili a soup? I don't know. I don't know. It's probably not. It's chili, but it could be a soup, right? If you put a little chicken stock in it. No, I don't know. Is it okay? Um, but today was good. Had a good day. I worked a lot. I'm so thankful that it's almost the weekend. I'm looking forward to just relaxing, having a good weekend. 
I did, here's something interesting. I looked into getting tickets for the Indianapolis Colts. Even though I'm not a football person or a football guy, I just, you know, I was thinking that might be interesting to do. Emily would probably enjoy it. So we might go to a football game sometime, but we might not. I don't know. And yeah, do you like football? Do you have a favorite team? I would say my favorite team are the Chicago Bears. My favorite team is the Chicago Bears, only because I lived in Illinois. I I worked for them. So it was just it's just like an easy go-to team. So but yeah, I'm not really a sports person. So but yeah, that's all. So I hope you're having a good day and um I will see you in a bit. Hey everyone. Happy Thursday night. It's very late, but sometimes it'd be like that. We just do the vlog very late. Mm -hmm. It's raining outside. I'm sure Michael already told you all of this. I've been sitting in the bedroom with the lights off watching. <laughs> I don't think I mentioned that. Watching the lightning because I love it. I think it's so fascinating and a sight to see. Since I'm safe indoors, I can watch it from inside and just watch the sky light up. I remember being a kid and it would be lightning, you know, pitch black outside, but then with one like lightning strike, you could see everything like it was bright day. Like, wow. As a kid, you're thinking everything looks the same at nighttime. It's just dark. I know that's so random, but you're like, oh, the, the world is around me it doesn't change and get all weird and scary. It really looks the same. You just can't see it. Anyway, um, the soup that Michael made tonight was so good. Chicken gnocchi. It was worth all of the hype because it was delicious. Highly recommend. Maybe Michael can link you to a recipe or something or like just tell you what's in it. Because I know that somebody had wanted the recipe to that. It's really good. Also... I have a coworker who ordered 50 pounds of peaches from the peach truck. That's a ton. That's so much. Yes. I don't know if anyone else has heard of the peach truck. That's what it's called. They travel around to tons of different places from Georgia to bring, you know, the most amazing peaches to the rest of the country. And you had to order them months in advance for how much you want. You can order a 25-pound box or a 50-pound box. And obviously, you could probably get multiple of those. So my coworker last year ordered a 25-pound box. And she went through them. She canned some of them, made jam, froze them for pies and stuff, ate some, and was able to go through those. Yeah. Here's one of the peaches. Um, so she's like, you know what? I'm going to get 50 this year. I'm sure I could use them. Well, she couldn't. And <laughs> there's only so long that peaches are good for, you know, like if you don't use them, they're going to go bad. So she brought in a ton of peaches to our office and just offered for everyone to take, you know, as much as we wanted for as much as she had. And yeah, so I was very excited. This is the first year I've ever heard of the peach truck, and I definitely didn't know when you were supposed to order them. And Michael and I could never eat that many peaches anyway. So this is perfect for me just to be able to try a few. So yeah, here's one of them. This is really pretty. This one's a little bit darker. Must be more ripe. It's a little bit softer. I tried one at the office yesterday, and like it was very juicy. It wasn't like the most flavorful peach I've ever had. It was still good, but for all the hype, it wasn't the most fantastic. So, hmm. but you know, these two peaches could be amazing. I'm still going to eat it, but yeah, that's just my little, little review. I love peach pie. I should have that soon. I kind of forgot about peach pie in general. Forget about peaches being a dessert filling. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I worked from home today. That was really nice. Just stayed. 
basically in bed the whole day. (laughs) I was so tired last night. I can't even describe it. I just couldn't barely move. So being able to work from home today was ideal and I feel a lot better. So, and I got a lot done today, more than I was expecting. But yep, it's time for me to go to bed and we can all have a great Friday tomorrow. It's late. Yeah, it's it's very late. Should I do comment down below? Yeah. Comment down below. If you're still watching this, comment down below. Peaches. Do you like peaches? Have you had, what's it called? Farmer's truck peach? The peach truck. The peach truck. Have you had the peach truck? Do you like it? I did see an ad for them today and they were advertising canning their own peaches. Like, this is what you can do with 50 pounds of peaches. Hmm. I was thinking, oh, that's interesting. It's prime time. It is. They're saying you can buy, you know, so many pounds and then just keep it all year. So, yeah, that's interesting. I've never made a peach pie. I love peaches in smoothies. I think peaches give it a really good uh, creamy texture. So I like I like them for that. And they're not as sweet. Well, maybe they are. They're not as tart as mangoes. So I, I like them because of that. So, but yeah. Well, everyone, we're gonna go. It's pretty late at night and That's all for tonight. So we'll see you tomorrow on Friday. And we hope you all have a great night. If no one's told you this today, you are loved. And this world's a better place because you are here. Hope you all have a great Friday, a great Thursday night, and a great Friday. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.